Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Can somebody say something? Sorry, teacher. You can please repeat. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Because I can't hear anything of you guys. You have some issues with your audio teacher because we are able to hear you. Okay, uh, I think it's my headset. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. I hear you guys now. I was, I had the headphones in, in the wrong plug in another one. Uh, once again, I apologize. Uh, this internet is giving me issues and this, it, that's not my cell phone. So uh, I, I had to activate something so I could get a hotspot. But anyways, so I apologize. Um, so sorry. Okay, it's June twenty third. June twenty third. Uh, do you remember what we spoke about yesterday? Gerang teacher. Affirmative statement with gerang in negative. Okay. okay. Can, can you give me an example of a, of a gerang? Um, like what we were talking about exactly. I like traveling. I like traveling. I hate cooking. Uh, I prefer staying home. So those are gerunds. Yes. What else did we mention? Do you guys remember what we mentioned besides the gerunds? No. Any questions about yesterday? Teacher, I have a problem with the platform in the section 5.4 in the phrase number three. I don't know the of this phrase has a problem because I tried off different forms to write this, the, the answers. Okay, uh, what part of the platform did you say? 5.4. 5.4? Yes. Okay. Let me, uh, and, and what exactly is the problem, Henry? In the sentence number three. Uh huh. Okay, so I will check it out and I'll, and I'll let you know. I'll see what happens. Okay, uh, any other questions or comments before we start today's session? No? Okay, um, when you, when you describe, when you describe a person, a place or something, what part of speech do you usually use? If you want to describe your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, what part of speech do you use to describe these people? Usually uh, uh, the physical aspect. 
Okay. Can you give me examples? Can you give me examples of physical aspects? For example, is the person is is blondie or brunette? Okay. Or tall or, or or small? Okay. So when you say small, what kind of of what part of speech is small? Big, skinny. Tiny. What is it? Tiny. Okay. So so. So tiny, small, big, those words, they belong to what? Verbs, yeah. nouns, adjectives? Adjectives. 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 We use adjectives, exactly. So I will show you a chart. Um, shares, you're here. Yeah. Right here. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, what is the question that we have on top of the chart? Which of these are positive, which are negative? Okay, good. Which are positive and which are negative? Thank you. So we have two columns. Each column you have different adjectives. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the, the, the column on the left, please. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Bad temper, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous. Okay, good. That is the first one. Um, another volunteer to read the other group, please. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Hardworking, impassioned, level-heading, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Very good. Thank you. Okay, are there any questions related with uh, meaning of these uh, uh, adjectives? Teacher, ¿qué significa moody? What is the meaning of moody? Sorry. Moody. Can somebody explain the word moody? It's about moods. What is it? It's about moods, about beha behavior, so I think. Okay. Someone else can explain the word moody? I think it's when you are happy and at the second you are mad. Or yes. angry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is the change uh, temperament? Yeah. Yes. Moody is another form to say bipolar. Bipolar. Thank you. Yes. Uh, like like your friend was saying, like you're you're smiling, you're happy right now, and ten minutes later you're completely the opposite. You're a moody person. Now moody comes from the word mood. So you said, can I go to the park? And then the mother says, ask your father. He's in a good mood right now. Or you say, not now. Don't ask for permission. He's in a bad mood. So moody is someone that is usually changing their behavior, as Ricardo said. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other questions related with this? What's the meaning of? Level-headed. Okay, level-headed. Can someone explain level-headed? Level-headed in this case is literal. You act according to your reality. So you don't try to impress people, you are realistic. That is level-headed. Okay, thank you. Sure, anybody else? Any other questions? No? Okay, so I will give you 10 minutes so you guys can work in pairs. Um, you guys will discuss each adjective and you will describe if there is someone in your work in the university 
or at home that is similar to the adjective that we have here. For example, I can say, well, my younger brother, he's bad tempered. You know, he gets mad very easily, so you have to be careful when you're talking with him. Or you can say, my little sister, she's very creative. You know, she's always making new things with her toys and, and, and she's got good imagination. So are the instructions clear? Just, yes. just. Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs. And uh, when you guys are working with your friend, you will say, okay, so do you know someone who, who is bad tempered? And then the person will tell you, yes, you know, my older sister, she's a bad tempered person and blah, 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 and so on. So let me uh, make pairs. Da, da, da. And here we go. That's hot spot. Can you see the picture of the war screens? Ricardo, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, Isaac. Who's your partner, Isaac? Oh, you just logged in. Okay. Okay, let me... Uh... Okay. Um, all, all right, hold on. I, I made a mistake with this. Okay. In this room is Jennifer Bustamante. Right. I think everybody came back for uh, to the main session by act not by accident, by my fault. Okay. Let me. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, give me a second. They made a mistake. Oops. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Okay.
Laura, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Is organized too. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. What is the meaning of forgetful? Forgetful is a person that frequently forgets things. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that you forget easily. <laughs> okay. So, and the meaning of level he header? Level-headed is someone that behaves according to his reality or her reality. It's someone very, uh, what is the word, realistic about his or her situation. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Okay. Any other questions, Jennifer? Um, no, just that, teacher. Okay, good, very good. Addict to, the, to your work. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I, oh, like, yeah. I like my, my job. And um, sometimes I, I don't have a little, um, a little, little work. Okay. Uh, in the okay, but you, but you must to be careful because you just at work. <laughs> Because as we have uh, a family business, uh, each time that he's uh, at the head of something, he is just disorganized. He made a mess of the papers and everything. So my brother is okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know someone okay. else? Um, for example, uh, in my case, uh, my son is very impatient. Okay, and that is a very good um, aspect for someone that wants to learn or is studying for uh, to be a very good professional, right? In this area, right? Yes, yes, I think that that's a quality that you must have to, to that career. Okay. Okay, very good for your little sister, you say? Yes, little sister. Ah. Do you know someone uh, critical? Critical? Mm, yes, maybe yes. Uh, I think in, in my last job too, some people are, are in, that, in that way, that critical. And do you know someone? Who's, who's, Luis, who's your partner? Henry, but he's having trouble with the internet. He's, that he say, that what he say me. Okay. Has he been? Uh, yeah. Okay, has he been having problems with his uh, audio? Uh, sometimes we talk, but I don't know what happened right now. Okay. So, I think yeah, he left, I think, but uh, yeah. the, like a few, like a few minutes, he was here. Okay, let me move you to another room then. Okay. All right.
Oh. My last job, yeah, I, I like it. I was working for for a customer sales for Microsoft. Microsoft, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Was was so funny because we had a an Xbox console and they give us t-shirts and a squeeze and lander of Microsoft. Was was great. Wow, amazing. <laughs> that was here in El Salvador? Yes, teacher. Is uh, the account is in in Concentrix. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. So you were having fun as you were working. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Um for other adjectives, um, my Kimberly. mother, yes, Laura, uh, and you? Hello. Hello, Laura. Gloria. Hello, Laura. Laura, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Laura, can you hear us? Hello. Let me see this here. I think is for the Hello. rain, Laura. Is it raining where you are? Yes, now it's started raining Hello. and it's very hot. Hello, okay. Laura. Laura, can, can you, you hear me? me? I guess she cannot. So I will move you to another room, uh, Gloria. Okay, teacher. All right. Laura, can you hear me? A realistic person. Ah, okay. Yes. And... Which one are you doing right now? Level-headed. Level-headed, okay, so you are almost finished. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is it raining where you guys are right now? Yes, teacher. Here is it start to raining. Where, where are you? Mexicanos. Mexicanos, okay. All right. In which word are you discussing now? About Moody. 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 Okay. Good. Okay, we're talking about a uh, how about generous? Mm, for example, my mother is very generous. Uh, when okay. she uh, know about the problem anything people have. In, <laughs> She is very generous and she tried uh, to help you, uh, any people. <laughs> sure, sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I tried uh, the, the, is, uh, the B. Uh, uh, like her. Exactly. <laughs> Are you? Do you consider yourself to be generous? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. On these times, it's necessary to be very generous with everybody. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. They, there are many people that literally, they don't have anything. They don't have much. So it is necessary to be generous. When yes. we are generous, uh, we are feeling the happiness, the happiness. Right. Yes. yes, people feel really good when you help someone else and especially when you don't expect anything back, you know, like you do it because your heart is telling you to do it. Yes. Not wanting anything in return, right? Right, right. Like uh, the help that you give is very transparent. Yes. Good, very good. Yeah. It's true. Wow. Hello. Hi, Henry. Uh -huh. Did you guys finish the list? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, so if you had to choose one of these adjectives to describe yourself, which one would you choose? Volunteer. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, so if you were to describe yourself with one of these adjectives, which one would you choose? What would be your answer? I can say my organizing. I will choose efficient. Efficient. Yes, efficient. I will choose efficient. Okay. Victor, which one did you say? Organized. Uh, organized. Organized. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, someone else? When you go to a job interview, uh, the person asking the questions, they usually ask you this, like, how do you describe yourself? Mm -hmm. So which, which uh, one would you use to define yourself? We have to say the best, the best description about, about us, right? Right. For example, for example, I am a very re reliable person. You can trust on me in everything. Good. Good, that's good. Anybody else? Generous, hardworking, punctual? I am very analytical person. Okay, good. Anybody else? I'm hardworking. You're a hardworking person. Yes. Okay. Someone else wants to share how you describe uh, yourself with other people? No? Now, if you could change something about you, um, like maybe you say, you know what? Sometimes I get too impatient. And I would like to change that about me. Is there something you would like to change about yourself? Sometimes I would like to change uh, because sometimes, little times, yep. little moments, I I am forgetful. Okay. All right. I like I would like to to improve my memories, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I I sometimes forgetful too. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, always be forgettable teacher. Really? <laughs> yes. So you I forget to take my pills. I forget where I, I leave my keys. I forget everything. Yeah. That happens to me too. Like I'm in the middle of the day and I said, oh my God, I didn't take my pill today. So it happens. Yes. Huh? yes. Anybody else wants to share how you describe yourself? Oh. Okay. All right. So let's. 
Yes. Sorry, in me, I am a forgetful, and now I prefer uh, writing anything. Right. So don't forget. Right, and that's a very good technique. If you know, like sometimes I said, okay, for example, I need to take some speakers with me. And because I know I'm a forgetful person, what I do, I leave them exactly next to the door. And when I leave my house, I see them. And I say, oh, the speakers. You know? and, but sometimes writing is also productive too. Good. Anybody else wants to say something? No? Okay, so let's change... Uh, topic um, how do people celebrate birthdays in El Salvador what is the typical birthday here making parties uh-huh making parties making and, 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 and and what do they have in a party cake chicken sandwich chicken sandwich <laughs> cake <laughs> But how do you say your chat in English? <laughs> chata, chata. Chata. All, all the traditional. Uh, it's a national name from from our country. <laughs> Orchata. Yeah, but, but but there is a name that there is a name for chata. I honestly forgot how to say it, but there is a word for chata. That they use it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's to say pupusas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it, it depends if, if, if the, because people celebrate in different forms. So they said, okay, let's get together for lunch or let's get together for dinner. So the time that you have your celebration also is a factor, you know? So if it's for dinner, people usually, you know, they might ask for pupusas. What about drinks? What kind of drinks do you usually include in a birthday party? You're usually drinking sodas. Okay, soda? Coke. It's the pain if a man is beers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, all uh, not all the men. Okay, yeah, not, not all men. But yeah. Can do. Yeah, I mean, like, beer, if it's for, you know, men or women, you know, it's normal that people include yeah. beer if they're adults but not necessarily. Yeah. Anything else that you include in a birthday party? Balloon. Balloons, <laughs> cakes, piñatas. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So I will show you um, this conversation. Let me see it. We share screen right here. Okay, do you see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay, let me... Uh, you can get a screenshot right now, and if not, I can uh, send it to the WhatsApp chat. Into nine. Okay, in here are the questions okay it's going now going going go okay so once again you got the questions in the whatsapp chat or if you want to take a screenshot go ahead i will assign you in pairs again so you guys have the time to practice your speaking okay so let's see this add a room so move to room six and move to room six as well. All right, here we go.
Hello, Laura. Hi, Hi I'm alone. <laughs> okay, good that you tell me. I'm going to put you with someone else. Give me a sec. Okay. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm my bid my birthday is on April. But with my friend mm -hmm. we we has organizing a, a Mexican party because I I love the Mexican food and uh, uh, we we plan to to do some some thematic party but the quarantine Worse everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny, very funny. Yes. Uh, What's up? <laughs> okay. and, and when was your birthday? On April. Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. All right. <laughs> then the next one. In relation to the, with the people you, you love, you you like to be okay which question are you doing right now and number two what's okay. the best and worst okay. birthday you ever had okay good okay in my case uh... why you like birthdays yeah. And you yes. just told me that you organize a little party, right? Yes. And it is supposed, and I ask to you, that if you invite to the people surround you, your friends. Yes. Okay. The, my my near my near friends. Correct. Your close I'm friends, I'm right? You yes. Okay. You choose the people that you are going to invite, right? Yeah. Okay. But that's yeah. why, uh huh? Yeah, it, it it was very horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, the third one it says, "Do you know how people celebrate birthdays in other countries?" Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, in the United States, uh, they usually um, make uh, a barbecues, a, a lot of barbecues. Um, With here beer. Too, oh, yeah. Here too, but in mm -hmm. the United States, I think it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, barbecue yes. with beer. Ah, yeah, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> or, or pizza parties too. Yeah, pizza, pizza party. party. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, I don't have idea. No, I mean, me, me and you? No, I don't know. Okay, the next one. What the best the birthday? One. What the best birthday present you ever been given? Mm. And when I, my 25th birthday, and my family rent a, a house in the beach, and all of my best friends wow. was, was, was there, my, my family and my sister-in-law in this, in, <laughs> in this time, and also my ex-boyfriend. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't. I don't have any time like this. Just like a birthday, a, a person that is was a spectacular. I don't think that I have it. Okay, so you don't have any of those memories. <laughs> any special? <laughs> no. Uh. For me, 
is all is the same. Uh, I think <laughs> is the uh, is the reason for the people give me anything. Can you uh, is a a chocolate or a yes. anything? But uh, who you appreciate if the is the reason for the people uh, remember the, the occasion. Right. That's a good point. Before they after. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah because yeah, mo mo mostly of people is preparing uh, either in the morning in than another uh, uh, aspect, right, to celebrate December 24. But you know what? I have a friend, a girl, I had a friend that she celebrated her birthday and the same and in the same Halloween day, 31 or October 31. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, All and right. you make two celebrations or only one celebration? She prefer not celebrate her birthday on that day because it is the same day or Halloween. <laughs> One hundred dollars. Oh my God! <laughs> How happy! <laughs> yeah. I never. Yeah. What happened to me? Let me tell you. What? <laughs> no. The nice. best. Present. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so the, the next one it says, What present would you like? Um, um in English, <clears throat> sorry, in English, people wish those whose birthdays many happy returns. Um, what? What you what do you think this means? Many happy returns. Many happy returns. What is the meaning of was? The meaning of was. Uh, what, what? Where is the word? What number? Seven. In English, people wish those was oh. with birthday. Oh, whose? Okay, who's? Who's? Yeah. The quien? Ah, okay. Yeah. I don't understand the, the question. No, me neither. Okay, it says, um, in English, la gente le desea aquellos de quien son los cumpleaños, many happy returns. So okay. what, what, what are the typical wishes that people say, you know, the day of your birthday? That's, that's what it means. Mm, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions or comments about today? Questions or comments? No, teacher. No. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that uh, people from Claro, they come uh, and fix the, the small box that we have here because the problem is the box. So we don't have the same issue that we had yesterday and that I had today. So, well, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night everyone. Good night.